13 given that y is equal to this one and y is smaller than 0. So just remember the range. So when it's smaller or smaller equal to then the range combined. If it is large or larger equal to then the range separate. So this one is combined so we know this one is smaller than 0. So you see here the range of x is 2 and a so this one would be x minus 2. 2 is x minus 2. x minus 2 is equal to 0. x is equal to 2. So when you put it inside the factorization, you have to inverse. You have to, it is the polarity is opposite. So this one is a. This one would be x minus a. So 2 is x minus 2. This one is minus a. Since it is combined, it should be smaller than 0. So here when you expand, x times x is x square. x times negative a, you get negative ax. Negative 2 times x, you get negative 2x. Negative 2 times a, you get plus 2a, smaller than 0. So the equation also gives you the value of y. y is equal to 2x square plus bx plus 12. And we know that this one is smaller than 0. If smaller than 0, then only we can get this range. So 2x square plus bx plus 12 is smaller than 0. To compare, it will be easier to compare with 1 with x square, 1 with x, and the 1 without any x. So here x square minus minus, so you can take minus. This one will be a plus 2x plus 2a smaller than 0. Then you can compare. But you see here this one, to compare, to compare the one x, you must make sure that everything is the same. The front and the front and the up and down here. This one is with x square and this one is this one is x and this one is 2. So you have to make x square equal. This one you multiply with 2. So here you have 2x square minus 2a plus 2x. You see here you multiply everything with 2 and 2a will become 4a smaller than 0. And here you have 2x square plus bx plus 12 smaller than 0. This one and this one is similar. You see this one also the same. Then you can directly compare what is in front of x and this one. So you can see here 4a. 4a is equal to 12. And here negative. This one is negative and this one is positive, right? So here is negative 2a plus 2 is equal to b. So you have two unknown here. But if you take the back here, 4a is equal to 12, then you can get the value of a. Here a is equal to 12 divided by 4, which is equal to 3. When a is equal to 3, here negative 2, 3 plus 2 is equal to b. b is equal to negative 2 times 5. So here we get negative 10. So this a is equal to 3. And B is equal to negative 10.